Hey YouTube, this is Don Freeman back on here showing you my hood account. Um, the market has been down a little bit all for the last two weeks. Uh, they always talk about September being a down month for the market. Uh, as you see, my buying power is at uh, $81.57 because I got some of my end of the month uh, payers, dividend monthly payers. And so, you know, that was pretty good. And um, when you take a look at what I did for the month, I was kind of, I was pretty happy with that. Um, the yield maxes were down this month. I think uh, because there wasn't a lot of volatility, everything was basically moving in a downward motion. Didn't want to go there. Yeah, everything was moving in a downward motion. So yield max and uh, covered call ETFs need a lot of volatility to produce uh, some uh, revenue. So as you can see here, I'm already pending on my next month for October. A uh, little bit of change with uh, AGNC because I just now started buying that back. Uh, just one share so far, but my prospect capital, four dollars and fourteen cents. My uh, Orchard Island, they got a uh, nine dollars and seventy six cents. And then um, when you take a look at the end of the month here, you know uh, Devo. I, I took a lot of my money out of that to put into the uh, simplified volatility fund SVOL, and so I got fourteen dollars off of that one, uh, fourteen ten, at the end of the month. Uh, my Sixth Street Capital, uh, which is TSLX, I had a special dividend like forty cents or something earlier in the month. I believe it's down here, or a dollar rather, and then um, certainly. Another seven dollars and eighty-two cents, and like I said, I think that's a quarterly or almost every two months. You know, two sixty-eight from Devo. My uh, YYY income uh, fund, fifty dollars. Then um, Orchard Island last month nine forty-four. My XRMI covered call ETF eleven dollars. And I took a little money out of that when I had to, uh, I had to get some wheel bearings and hubs and uh, a tie rod in in the back of my Lincoln. And then prospect capital four dollars, um, you know, dollar from the Sixth Street. My uh, Apple Yield Max, nineteen dollars forty cents. My uh, Arc Innovation Yield Max Fund, cover call ETF. $12.72 and I decided to start buying some of that because that one has a little bit of a higher uh, yield right now and so I'm going to complement Apple with the uh, ARC fund yield max and I have uh, the Tesla yield max on my Webull account and I have that in the middle of the month and I have uh, you know uh, Cornerstone there's two different type of Cornerstone funds but uh the one on Weeble, CLM, is uh, going to pay me at the end of the month or like the, the beginning of the month. But um, those are complement each other. I just now started buying back in my SDV or SDIV, and so I got twenty one cents last month. I bought another share, I believe, or so, and then at the time I had more shares of AGNC, so I had two dollars and sixty four cents. And so, as you see, last month, my YYY, I had $42. Now I'm at $50. And so that's the type of uh, growth and type, type of uh, dividend growth that you want to see as you're continually uh, building up your shares. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. I um, also want to uh, take a look at, um, I had a... Uh, <laughs> I had a stock that was going down 
and um, right here the EFSH, which is a a holdings company, and because of high interest rates right now, there seems like hardly anything is uh when it comes to business to business and uh, REITs and uh, holdings companies and banks are are not doing well right now, so. They did a 1 to 25 reverse split. And so also they had their uh, yearly meeting coming up online. And so I'm hoping pretty soon, like maybe into next year, they'll bring the dividend back. And then, uh, you know, I'll start buying a lot more shares of that, even though it's split. And uh, even though it's split, I had 300 shares of it bought really, really cheaply. And then it split, and so now I have, I believe, around um, 25 or so, something like that, shares. And um, they're right now hovering around a dollar, so, you know, I look for them to pick up some steam. And like I said, uh, you know, when you're investing, there's always risk. You might lose money, you might make some money, but uh, what I'm trying to do is build up a portfolio that has a lot of dividend pay payments and helpful, hopefully that'll supplement my income. And yeah, so that's where we are. Just want to lay that on y'all and certainly uh, like and subscribe to the channel and uh, hit me up with a like if you like this content. And uh, don't forget to put on all notifications so you can see my next video. Peace.